Hey guys, welcome back to Lord of the Rings Tactics. Let's move on to the next level. I'm going to spend some of this gold. Um, the first thing we need to definitely do, what's this? Increases all allies' strength and comfort and con. Yeah, uh, what's it called? So, I'm not sure I can't remember what it is, but it's basically health. And if I do that again, I will most likely explode. There we go. So all allies. And now, um, you know, one of ours are boosted with those two stats. Let's buy some leaves of dried a fellas. That should do. Um, so, let's have a look if anyone's got anything else to buy. Grace of Valor reward. What are these? These tokens don't look too bad. Increases strength, constitution, dwarven smite, during wrath. 75% chance to stun target, we're going to get that. Anyone else? Searing Light, Light of the Mire, Halfling Ambush 1, Stealth of the Shire, Stone Throw 1, Force of Bandabras. They're all alright, but I think I'll just. That should be enough for now. We'll save the. the um, we'll save the gold for now. Healing is very important here. Use your troops to protect Frodo while Aragorn and Legolas take on the Lurks. Well, I'll try. Aragorn, Boromir, Sam, Frodo and Legolas. And the objective is to defeat Lurks. And obviously if we, we lose a Frodo and Legolas. By nightfall these hills will be swarming with orcs. We must reach the woods of Lothlorien. Seldom the orcs journey in the open under the sun, yet these have done so. Oh, that's our target. If you would play me, Nari, you are not yourself. What chance do you think you have? You fool! It could have been mine! It should be mine! No! Frodo? It has taken part of me. Where is the ring? Here we go. Orokai are quite strong, obviously, but they are quite tough in this game as well. So the main goal, really, for me first at least, is to get that Orokai shield defeated by Aragorn, so that I can actually get Aragorn down to help. Boromir can take on these two. Uh, I'm going to do a risky strategy. I'm going to try... Uh, can you move the camera? So it doesn't seem like you can move the camera. No, nope, let's not do that. No, I don't think you can move the camera. Bit of a shame. We're going to try and get Legolas up here to help out against that Uruk shield. And these guys are just going to shelter within rock throwing distance. But hopefully out of range this turn at least. Right, so first off, Legolas can true shot the Uruk shield. Apparently Frodo can throw a stone at it somehow. Company might. We'll go for company might. No we won't, no we won't, no we won't. We will go for that later. Right now, do a dying wrath. 
Faramir is apparently not a hero, which is a bit shameful. Obviously. That's alright then. That's all we need trolls with plus four health. Let's see if Aragorn can escape, most likely not. Let's go. At least Boromir is not overwhelmed yet. Keep pressing X to use company might, and that's not right. Well, hey, so I'm doing that and laughing again. That Orokai shield should be dead. Come on, Aragorn. There we go. Right, let's remember. The goal isn't to kill every enemy, it's just to kill the Earths. And Aragorn and Legolas can do that now. So we may as well keep retreating Frodo and Sam. Sam's like a last ditch, last ditch bodyguard. I had a feeling those two would start chasing. Oh, I'm going to have to try and kill the Earths somehow. I've done some decent damage to him there. Even more. Good one, Boromir. Not sure what that's actually done to Legolas. Oh, come on, man. So I've noticed that a lot of the sounds and, and models are reused from Lord of the Rings of Third Age, which I find pretty cool, to be fair. But Girl. So Legolas couldn't get away. Not this turn. Doing a dying wrath on him. Let's go. Hopefully we might be able to get him down to half health this turn. Not bad. Bottom is not looking too good there. now as to who's going to kill who first. Let's go. I wonder if Legos can true shot actually. Even from there. Yes he can, good. Frodo and Sam should be able to kill him. Aragorn's not getting away with any skills this turn though. Boromir's going to get away with using uh, Dry Defellus on himself there. Go. That Uruk's almost dead. Frodo, you can hold him there. Let's go. At least that other Uruk, due to my position, is unable to join in. Um, can he do a down re No, he can't. Just a regular old melee attack then. Uh, I think I'll have Frodo use leaves of dried Athelus on himself actually. Let's go. One more turn I think and Lutz is dead. Just gotta hold in. Wow. 
Wow, we're going further. Everyone can just keep the same movement, to be honest. Typical. Well, at least Boromir is not going to get attacked. Not that it really matters. Because Litz is dead. So is that Uruk guard? The Uruk shield is down. I don't even know what I mean, how to bounce, so that's pretty interesting. And we win. Some good XP. Some good gold as well. That is very helpful. Let's see what the next level is before we save and uh, end it there. Fangorn Forest. Whilst this, Gandalf must survive, capture both enemy flags. When capturing a flag, wait two turns to gain possession. The flag will be converted after you've gained possession, your unit's free to leave the flag. So all we have to do is capture both and we win. We've got a Gandalf, four Rohan warriors, and then reinforcements as two Rohan riders. I remember this level being absolutely terrible in terms of difficulty. They get so difficult. Well, thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this part. I'm really enjoying this game, so I'll definitely keep it up. And I shall see you next time.